Welcome to our CPR educational briefing video, where we will explore the life-saving techniques of cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Before we begin, please note that this video is for educational purposes only and does not replace professional training. Cardiopulmonary resuscitation, or CPR, is a critical skill that can save lives in emergencies. In this video, we will cover the steps of CPR, including chest compressions and rescue breaths. We will also discuss the importance of calling emergency services and using an AED when available. Remember, performing CPR can double or even triple a person's chance of survival after cardiac arrest. Now, let's dive into the practical techniques of CPR that everyone should know. And to lighten the mood, here's a joke. Why did the CPR instructor break up with their partner? They just couldn't handle the pressure. Cardiopulmonary resuscitation, or CPR, is a life-saving technique used in emergencies when someone's heartbeat or breathing has stopped. First, ensure the scene is safe for both you and the victim before approaching. Check for responsiveness by gently shaking the person and shouting, Are you okay? If there is no response, call emergency services immediately or ask someone else to do so. Next, check for breathing by looking for chest rise, listening for breath sounds and feeling for breath on your cheek. If the person is not breathing or only gasping, begin chest compressions at a rate of 100 to 120 compressions per minute. After 30 compressions, give two rescue breaths by tilting the head back, pinching the nose, and sealing your lips over theirs. Continue the cycle of 30 compressions followed by two breaths until emergency help arrives or the person shows signs of life. Before initiating CPR, ensure the scene is safe and assess the victim's responsiveness. If the victim is unresponsive, call for emergency medical services immediately. Next, carefully stabilize the victim's head and neck to prevent further injury. Check for breathing by looking, listening and feeling for air movement. If the victim is not breathing, prepare to perform CPR with caution to protect the neck. Use the jaw thrust maneuver to open the airway without moving the neck. Administer rescue breaths and chest compressions while maintaining head and neck alignment. After CPR, continue to monitor the victim until emergency services arrive. Positioning for toddler CPR requires placing the child on a firm, flat surface. For infants, position them on a flat surface, but hold them securely in your arms if needed. When performing chest compressions on a toddler, use one hand and compress at a depth of about two inches. For infants, use two fingers to perform compressions at a depth of about 1.5 inches. In toddler CPR, give 30 compressions followed by two rescue breaths. For infants, provide 30 compressions followed by two gentle rescue breaths, ensuring a proper seal. Ensure that the toddler's head is tilted back slightly to open the airway during rescue breaths. For infants, keep the head in a neutral position to maintain an open airway during rescue breaths. 